True commitment then plans for opportunities. When you're truly committed to something and you see you're vulnerable and you don't like it, you, you start planning. You don't, if you're really committed to getting past being vulnerable, you start laying out plans while you're vulnerable. You don't wait until it goes away. You plan while you're broke how not to be broke. You plan how to have money while you have no money. That's when you start planning. You plan now. Hopefully you plan before you run out. But if you get stuck, you plan now. I always plan my way out of things. I, I, I sat down three years, four years ago, and I started planning. I saw the train a coming. And in 08, I heard the train a coming. And I said, the train is here. And so I've been working even now. Believe me, I'm working for 10 years down the road. My plans today, because I see opportunities. I see them. There are going to be a lot of sick people because some of you are not going to stop. So you're going to really make somebody a lot of money. And I'm, I'm you know, I don't want to say it's going to be me, but hey, since you're not going to stop, since you're going to drive this train all the way to the, you know what I'm saying? Am I, y'all okay with me? I mean, that's what somebody else is doing. Somebody is looking down the road and they're saying, these people don't get it. So there'll be opportunities afforded to people who get it. Be one of those who get it. Nehemiah, while in a vulnerable place, begins to say, okay, I, I, I better be ready just in case this man gives me an opportunity. Because watch what happens. The king said to me, what is, what is it you want? Right then, bam, okay, now, here I am on stage. You're on, you're on, here it is, you're on. What do you want? See, that happened to me when I first got on television. I've told this story so many times. The guy, I called, I made a, I made a phone call and I asked, I wanted to get on television, and I didn't have any cameras, I didn't have any money, I didn't have any resources, but I wanted to be on. And so I, I made a phone call, and the guy asked me a question. He said, he said, so what do you want? I said, oh, I want to do a TV program. I said, how long? I hadn't thought about that. I said, 30 minutes. He said, what's the name of the program? Word Alive? The Word is Alive. He said, uh, can you come Thursday? I sure can. When I got there, I had never been on television in my life. I, never, I, didn't, I didn't tell him that. I just got some notes, and I stood there. My wife was sitting right here. She said, what you going to do? Say, pretend. <laughs> <laughs> I did. That's what I told her. I said, I'm going to fake it. She looked at me. You're going to fake it. quiet. <laughs> Hi there. I'm Pastor Ricky Temple. Welcome today to the Word of Live broadcast. Today, we're going to turn to the book of James chapter 1, and I'm going to talk about how to deal with your trouble. Turn with me in your Bible, please. Man, I about fell out when I finished, but I did it. I did it. Let me, let me tell you something. You have to have a plan. Some of you, you you're praying, and you're, oh, I'm vulnerable, and oh, God, but you are, you're not planning anything. 